Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I want to show you two useful tips when it comes to a bit of design annoyances when it relates to tables specifically or matrix tables in Power BI Desktop. Now both of these came about uh, as real snack size things that were a bit longer than I would want for a LinkedIn post, but too short for a video by themselves. And this is one, to be able to handle tool tips and specifically how to get rid of them entirely. And the other one is actually how to completely blank out any of the field names that are used in a visual as well. So with that being said, I'll show you both of these techniques if we hop into Power BI and get started. Now the first problem I'll mention is an issue with tooltips. So when you have tooltips on, you get all of the pop-ups you see here, but you get SVG showing the code and the URLs will show the URL. Now you'd think you could just come over to tooltips and turn that off. However, you'll get that off for the values. You will not get that off for SVG. Now I've seen a few different techniques about this over the years, including one that was posted about four years ago by Ben Ferry on the technique that I'll be showing you. But just to mention a couple of solutions people have tried to come up with. Now, one of the solutions people have come up with is to try to use a one pixel tooltip page like you see here. However, it comes with some downsides, not a lot, but there are some. So if we come over to here, Go to properties, turn back on tooltips and attach it to that page. So now what we get is notice that there's a small little teeny tiny box that's showing up and an arrow. Well, there's a couple of things that we can do to address this. One, turning on the background, we'll get rid of the arrow, but we're still left with the pixel that's there, the one pixel size. So the thing that we can do actually uh, to solve this is go back and actually just keep the regular tooltip on as so, all the tooltips on and just come to the background and turn that to 100%. So keep the tooltip, it's just not gonna show up. It doesn't matter what you're hovering over, all of these aren't gonna show anymore when you have that. So that's the easy way to do it is just turn transparency to 100% for your background. Now, thing number two that I get asked occasionally is on a table, how do I blank out any of the values or the rows for headers? So as an example, if I wanted bullet to be completely empty, now I've seen some people come in where they will put a period and then you can go and change the, the color, uh, the font color of the header in the formatting. Now, I don't know if this has changed, but at least before I used to try to paste non-printable characters, but I did recently find one that works. So either A, I found a new non-printable character that is accepted, or B, they updated Power BI Desktop. But let me show you the website that we'll have a link down below of where you can go get this, but let's flip over to my Chrome browser. And what I'm gonna copy is this U200B0 with space. And I'm gonna, again, give you the invisiblecharacters.com. I'm gonna copy this, flip back over to Power BI Desktop, and if I come to any one of these or that period that I just did for the ABCS bullet, select all, paste, and enter, it will now completely empty that out. Now this can be very useful sometimes when you want a maybe a hidden column that's gonna be used for sorting or other purposes, but there are some times where due to design or anything else, you would like blank or empty to show up in that top section for a single column or multiple columns. And this is the way that you can actually do that. And you can similarly add this as well in a PBIP file if you open the report as well. But the easiest thing is obviously just to use the UI and make your edits there. But again, these are two little snack size tips that I wanted to present to you of kind of issues that I have sometimes dealing with the matrix or table visual. Um, but hopefully you find these useful. And as always, any comments, suggestions, or curiosities, or maybe how you're using this, drop that into the comments down below, as well as any suggestions for a future video. Up here in the upper left is where you can get some of my related content. And as always, liking, commenting, and subscribing will help my channel grow. And as you've seen, I just hit 100,000 subscribers about a month ago. So it's uh, it's been going pretty well for the channel growth. Um, so thank you all so much for the help on that. And with that being said, I will see you in my next video.